Hi, this is Mrs. McGlinty. So today we're going to be painting a lily. And I have a lot of lilies blooming in my garden right now. And they smell so beautiful. This is one of the lilies that I have. And you can see it has a beautiful lavender color. And it's very light in through the inside there of the petals. And then the stamen is cream and green with some brown and the pollen. So the colors we're going to use today, we're going to use the golden yellow, which is a good color to use for the summer or for the fall. We're going to be using the ultramarine blue and then the carmine red. We have Peter paintbrush or my one inch flat. We have the round brush number 12 or else Tiny Tim. And we have our detail brush. I'm also gonna be using a, a very simple paint tray here. We're gonna be mixing up a little bit of a pink and then the brown for the end of the stamens. So let me tell you a little bit about lilies. So there are actually 80 to 100 species of lilies. And in Greek mythology, the lily was a flower of Hera wife of Zeus, and the lily was considered sacred in the Minoan civilization. During the Victorian era, the European plant explorers, mostly British, scoured the globe for new plants and discovered many new species of lily. Although the lily really has no real pharmaceutical value, it was commonly believed to have magical qualities. Elizabethan era medical texts recommend using the lily for many medicinal uses. Lily bulbs are starchy and they've long been used in cooking in China. They are a frequent ingredient in the local cooking of Shanghai. So let's go ahead and say our verse. Colors shine around us. I'll count to three and we'll start. One, two, three. Colors shine around us from earth and sea and sky. Pale and light, deep or bright, they show us earth's glory and her might. So I've had my paper soaking, my watercolor paper, and I'm going to put that on my painting board and then dry it with my drying cloth. So we want to leave it damp, but we do not want it to be dripping. You'll also need perhaps a washcloth or a towel to dry your brushes with. So let's get that brush nice and wet. And we're gonna put a little bit of color. So let's get that brush nice and wet. And we're gonna put a little bit of color around the outside edge of our paper. So I've just dipped the tip of my brush into the blue because I don't want a very dark color. So this will represent the sky. And we want to leave plenty of room in the center for our lily. So we don't want this to come out too far. Okay, I'm going to rinse off my brush and make sure it's really clean before I dip into the yellow. Then I leave my brush slightly wet and I just dip the tip of it into the yellow. And we'll probably get a beautiful green going on here too. Because when we mix yellow and blue, we're going to get green.
just want to mingle those colors a little bit. And what I'm doing, I'm going to rinse my brush. I'm going to leave it damp. And I'm just going to go over this, soften this edge just a little bit. All right. Now I'm going to rinse my brush again. I'm going to set that aside. And I'm going to take Tiny Tim. And I'm going to... First, I'm going to put some water in my tray. And then I'm going to dip my brush in to the red and make a little bit of pink. Then we're going to need to make the brown. So I'm going to put some of the red here in the center. If we mix the three primers together, red, yellow, blue, we will get a beautiful brown. Now if I want a little bit darker, I'll put just a little more blue in it. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside for a minute, rinse off my brush, I dried it, and now we're going to decide where our flower is going to go. So I'm going to make the flower, this is going to be the center of the flower. Then we have to decide where the petals are going to go. So we're going to mark them out. So we've got one petal here, one petal here, and one petal here. Okay, now let's go ahead and we're going to draw in those petals. So this one, it's going to come down this way. And this one, it's going to come up like this. And then this one is going to come up like this. Now we need to put the ones in between these. This one is kind of folding over a little bit. Let's put a line down the center here and make it curve so it gives you the feeling of roundness on your lily. Then we're going to put a little bit more color here at the bottom. And we're going to bring that up into our lily. Rinsing my brush. And I want I took a little bit of water off of it. Now I'm going to make sure I Touch the outside edge of the petals. Let's bring that color up. If you start to get too much pink on your brush, then go ahead and rinse it again and dry it. Then let's put a little more of that red right here in the middle.
Now, in order to make the stem, we're going to use the yellow. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the blue on top of it. So I'm dipping into the yellow. I've got a clean brush. Taking some off on the side because I don't want to have too much. And our stem is going to come down like that. And then this one kind of comes up this way. And then we've got this one. Gonna come up that way. And then we've got a leaf here. And then we need a little more color. We have a leaf that goes like this. Then I'm gonna put another little leaf here because of the bud. Then we're gonna go ahead and put the buds in. So there's one here, and there's one here. I'm going to rinse off my brush and take a little bit of water off it. I'm going to soften that a little bit. Let me get my blue. I'm going to put my blue right on top of the yellow and we'll get green. And there's a little bit of green right here where it attaches. So we'll put a little blue right there. And then there's a touch of yellow. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a thirsty brush and a thirsty brush is one that you rinsed out and it's wet. And now we're going to take some of the moisture off of it. And we're, we need to lift out this part right here. Remember I talked about that light part? So we go like this. And then we put it on our towel, that paint we don't want. Now we might do is take just a little bit of that red and we can add a little bit more red in here. You know, somehow the lilies, sometimes the lilies have those little spots. All right. Now, we're going to need to wait for a few minutes until this is a little bit more dry. Now, if I want to, the other thing I want to tell you is if you want to, if this, if you want to lift this part here, 
put a little water on it and then you can dry it with a tissue. Okay, so let's wait for the middle to dry and then we can go ahead and we can put our stamens in. All right, so my center's dry. Now I'm gonna use the detail brush and the blue. And I wanna make some little tiny stamens and they're all gonna go up to the left. So they're gonna start right about here And then we'll rinse our brush. We'll put a little of the yellow on there to make them green. And we need a little bit of the yellow down in here where they're gonna rest. And then we're gonna take our brown that we've made and stir it up a little bit. And then these are gonna kinda go down like this. And we can add a little bit of this blue here to make the screen too. Soften this edge right here. We'll lift this just a little bit here, this part of the lily, just to give the buds a little more dimension. Just a thirsty brush. And then we can take the back of our brush handle and put our name on. Well, I hope you enjoyed doing this lily painting and I'll look forward to painting with you again. Bye-bye.